Let's actually talk a little bit about the syntax of KQL. As you can see, this is the default search that you get in Data Explorer. You go here by going select uh, uh, Data Explorer search. It takes you to this page, and this is the default search that is in this system. And there are several things in terminology. These things that you see here are called operators. This is the project operator, the where, the take, etc. These things with parentheses are called functions. And the columns that the data comes from are, are called attributes, right? Or just simply columns. If we run this search the way that it is right now, we see that uh, and more on, the, on, on, on those later. But what I want to do is I want to run it to show you the columns that we will see. This is the timestamp, it's called original underscore time, the data source name, the name of the event, the user ID, source IP, the signature IP, and most importantly, the whole payload, which we are going to do a lot with. So that's the syntax. And what we are going to do is, uh, in my view, the most important thing is to put the where, which are the filter. And where is, the syntax of where is uh, the operator where, and then in here the predicate are the conditions that when evaluate to true, they produce results. And on the piping, it works like this. So from all the events that are piped into this operator that we haven't seen yet, which is called project, the results of these are piped into boop, these things where the f they are filtered for where, and the results of these filtered, boom, are put into this l take or limit uh, for the number of records. So that's the piping that is so enticing into KQL because it it's very, makes very easy the debugging and the and the building of the actual search. So what you want to do is actually take all this out and uh, we're going to, you, you most likely will want to start, and of course these are the comments, right? You put uh, the, the syntax of KQL is very much uh, C++-like, right? Uh, so you want to start your s searches, your queries with the where in order to limit the amount of results. This thing is, is massive. There are millions of records in this uh, database. And you see that while the performance is incredible, you don't want to you know, waste resources if you don't have to. So when you start the searches with where, you are limiting out of those millions of records that are out there to the ones that you care the most. So for example, if I go into this part, uh, show me only the uh, events that have happened five minutes ago. And the syntax goes original time, which is the name of this column that we see here, greater than the function I go, and then you put here between parentheses five minutes, five seconds, five days and days, etc. Right? So if we run this query, we see that this query doesn't have as many events uh, as the previous one because we are limiting this to the last five minutes ago. Still a great deal of results. More than, you know, it, it takes by because we, we actually stop it at 10,000. Uh, that's what it took, but th there, are, there are more records than that. This is massive. I mean, this is the, the insane scales of the cloud native type of uh, searches. Now, you can do additional searches. Let's say that we are focused here on user ID, right? But as you can see, there are a bunch of user IDs that have no, no fields in there. Here's root, here's Aiden Butler, but so uh, I want to I want to limit only the ones that have a user ID in it. Well, you can do it both ways. You can keep on going with the piping and put another pipe here and put where user ID, which is the name of that column that we just saw, user ID uh, equals, and then you put a name, for example, root, right? You can do that and then run that query. Let's see if I did this right. You're going to get only the results where root is there, as you can see there. Right? Now, or 
and probably it's more efficient, I, I don't know the details of that, instead of making it like that, you can put it into the same statement and avoid that piping by going in here and using the logic and operator, which is in lower case. And remember, uh, KQL is case sensitive. There are operators and functions that are case insensitive, and they typically follow the terminology underscore CS, uh, but the, the language is uh, case sensitive. Now, let's say that I, I, I want not just root, but I want anything that, that has data in it. Well, there is an operator for that, and the operator is called is not empty, and this, of course, one that is, is empty is not empty, and you see that the syntax helps you, the look ahead helps you there, and what are you going to be, what is it that you don't want to be empty? Well, it's user ID. So you go like that, and you perform that search, and you get all these other users. There's Frank Adams, and Ruth, and Mark Newman, and a whole bunch of guys there, right? User IDs. Now, let's say that you want to look for the users that has, uh, for example, well, let's say that you, you, are, you are searching from Frank Adams, but, but you, you don't know exact name of Frank Adams. Then instead of using the, because you can use the has uh, operator, as, as we did before, you can, you can use, instead of this function as a hash, you can use an operator. And that operator is called contains. And remember, contains can uh, actually. I need to put user ID. User ID contains, and then what is it that you are searching for? And I'm going to put here Adams, and I know that in there was put with uppercase, and just, I don't know if it was an S or not, but again, because this contains this uh, case insensitive, unlike its counterpart, which is contains CS, uh, this should provide me all the logs in the last five minutes, let me actually expand this to five days, uh, to make sure that Frank Adams is, is in there, and I made a mistake, and the mistake is that the column is not user ID, but user underscore ID. And that's what, it, it is always good to run the, the things little by little and make the changes all at once uh, until you get uh, familiarity with it. And here we see everything that contains the word Adam in there. And I believe that this is, yeah, with S. Now, I'm not going to... Uh, well, I'm going to be showing you in the examples more of these operators and functions that exist for you to do filtering with where I want to keep this, uh, these videos kind of short. So I'm going to show a few others, but again, the concept is on the first, you want to limit the logs that are meaningful to you. And you can put all the logic conditions in here, greater than, equal, you know, all those. And that's going to bring you only those logs. And, and I can keep all building in here. I can put, for example, let's say that, uh, what is this uh, source IP? 192, 168. Let me copy that one. And I want to say, and, and source IP equals, and, and I'm going to sh share a little bit more about the syntax because there are a whole variety of uh, equal, not equal uh, for that. Uh, and then we said that the IP address, and the IP addresses you need to put it in double quotes if they were strings. And then you are limiting that uh, search to only the Frank Adams when he was using that specific IP address. So you get the point. Now, in the spirit of C++, you, you, of course, you can also put in here is not equal, right? But there's also the options with the tilde, which means that this is case insensitive. 
when you put the tilde just like that. And instead of the this, you can actually put the equal and the tilde. No, sorry, the equal and the tilde for case insen insensitivity on the equality. Other useful uh, predicates that you can put in there, you can put start with, ends with, matches with with uh, with, with regex. We we will talk more about that later. We mentioned that it's not empty. You have a non-empty. You have a is null. Is not null. Uh, not null. Uh, so all sort of uh, predicates that you can make your filtering for the first part of your search, uh, just like that. In the next section, we're going to talk about the project operator after the the where, in which it will help help us to limit the number of columns that we care about.